Hello everyone and welcome to Gossip Railworks. My name is James and today I'll be doing some more work on Bosnport. I'll be finally getting around to doing the scenery, which I've been putting off for a little while because, uh, well, I said I've been reworking the track, uh, just gluing in the platform sides because uh, I wanted to get them done out of the way. Uh, it didn't really need me to say how to do them, you just uh, paint them if you want, like I have, glue them in, then that's it really. I will show you um, me putting in the actual platforms themselves, but the platform sides they're not really difficult as I said. It's just bits of plastic really. But um, yes, in this episode I will be showing you a few things. Uh, one of them is doing the uh, third rail and if I remember I'll be doing say, a little clip of what it'll look like because I've done the, uh, just for practice, I've done the uh, three terminus parts of the station. So these two tracks and this one out here. Uh, the good said, not gonna have any third rail, so. Uh, it's gonna be in most places, but apart from the points, cause their sleepers are slightly higher. So, um, yeah, it's a bit more difficult, and it, I have managed to get my third rail uh, multiple units round, though the, uh, what's it, the Brighton Bell is a little bit, I said it's, is the reason why I had to take it off a point. Uh, it doesn't like it if it's slightly ever too high. It's just about resting. So um, yeah, I'll get around. I'll try and find a thinner rail profile to use as a third rail for there. But um, yeah, other than that, I'll be showing you me building up the town section over here. Uh, it's just going to be the raised part of it. So uh, the trains will basically going through a um, embankment on either side and also little bridge going over the top. Uh, I'll be doing the actual embankment uh, probably off camera or at least so you the end result. I'm using the scale scenes embankment because it's cheap and I can print it off as much as I want so uh, that would just be going around here. Uh, behind me it will be the hilly area so that will be using quite a bit of these cardboard bits which I've already cut out. Uh, what I'll be doing is putting up a um, Basically just a little kind of temporary back scene type thing just so I can build around it. It won't be the final back, back scene but um, it's basically just so I can build off it. And over here, well you can't see on the camera, but uh, on the other side will be the suburbs and that will be maybe a little bit hilly. There will also be a, uh, another bridge over there which I uh, converted from a Pico stone one and I made it into brick. So um, yeah, I'll say that in a bit. And um, I haven't quite sorted out, I said we haven't done the point motors yet because I'm also going to be doing the modeling nightmare called ballasting. And I've got <clears throat> a fair amount of ballast in case I mess it up. So um, yeah, I'll put the point motors back in after I've done all the ballasting and not messed them up like I did the other time. Um, so um, yeah, and I'll also do the turntable after I've got a replacement uh, well for it, so, oh well. Anyway, on to the third rail and I'll see you in a bit. Right, here we are with all the third rail all glued on and I have run my Brighton Bell around the two loops and I have to already test it on the um, end um, terminus bits but uh, yeah that runs perfectly fine it's a bit rubs slightly but um, it'll do uh, but uh, yeah the next bit is to use these co uh, cardboard uh, strips that I've made from various packaging box it is and that lot to start building up all the structure for the landscape so over here it will just be completely cardboard because I want to put um, two little embankments on either side I've got the tunnel over here ready I have got one bridge that way which um, I still need to do the inside too but that 
uh, I can do that when I get round to there. Uh, so at the back, it'll be cardboard underneath, but paper mache over the top, just to give it a lot more firmness than when I previously uh, previously done paper mache. And like I said, over. I'll just move the camera carefully. There we go. And I said over here. I'll just be doing flat cardboard, so cardboard like that, piled up, to make it firm, but not too, uh, not too difficult to place down. So um, yeah, like I said the bridge is here, and I said this used to be a Pico a stone one, but uh, I wanted a brick one, so I put some brick paper over the top and painted it. So. Yeah, that looks not too bad, and I've done the same with the uh, tunnel over there. So, uh, yeah, let's get work on doing all that lot. I'll just be doing it as, not too sure if the slide so, or just various clips here and there, in, uh, depending on progress. So, I'll decide on that in a bit. So, see you in a bit. too messy and I really don't want to ruin my camera so um, yeah I'll be skipping that bit and uh, yeah this bit I'll eventually get around to doing the uh, embankments might have to rearrange the uh, supports behind but um, it shouldn't take too long I'll be doing that off camera as well but probably after I've done this video because so, yeah after this it's backstick and that's just as messy as um, paper machine. So, yeah, got all that all ready. I just need to stick the glue in and make it water down. Then I'll get work to all that lot. So, um, yeah, see you in a bit. Basic part of the scenery done. As you can see, I painted it brown. Give it a um, earthy look. Not the same brown as um, Golden Scenic's uh, burnt amber stuff, it's just a cheap uh, poster paint. Because, um, yeah, I'll be. You know, so I'm using a lot of it, so just wanted something cheap. And cheerful. Can't really get any more cheerful than post pain really. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm just waiting for it all to dry, then I can get around to doing the ballasting. So probably hopefully later today. Then I need to wait for that to dry. <laughs> uh, I won't be well as you can see I have not painted in between the rails because um, I figured that's more awkward things really worth plus it's going to be completely covered with ballast uh, I won't be ballasting too much around here because I want to put a um, engine shed here so I'm not too sure what I want to do with that bit quite yet uh, I've removed the turntable because it's just easy to paint it with that turntable there plus I need to replace the well but, uh, yeah come back in a couple of hours. Uh, hopefully by then I would have got the um, embankment things done. Probably not, but oh well, I have to do something to keep me busy. So uh, yeah, see in a bit. Well oh, here we are, I've all the bias placed in, uh, onto the layout. Uh, I would have done the embankment over here, but unfortunately the weather's been a bit um, bad. Um, <laughs> So uh, yeah, I'll just get all the ballast glued in and then hopefully uh, I can get all the rest of it done. But uh, yeah, I'll see you all 
all after I get all the glue down. So it's in a bit. Well, here we are with all the ballasting done. And it's turned out quite nicely this time. I think I've actually worked out how to do ballasting. So uh, yeah. Let's see. It's all solid and it doesn't seem to be impeding any of the track. So maybe a few bits here and there. Okay. But uh, yeah, I'm using my um, self painted wagon just to test where it needs clearing out. Uh, I still need to vacuum up all the uh, loose bits and uh, yeah, I still need to do a few spots here and there where I need to do uh, some more ballasting. Basically just bits where I missed and I'm being ballasted on steam again. I'll sort that out in a minute. But um, yeah, I think the only thing which I still need to do is the embankment walls because um, it finally has dried out outside. Well, it stopped raining anyway. But uh, yeah, I think I'll have to finish this video first. So um, yeah, hopefully by the next video of Bosnport that will be done. And I have a little bridge over here. And um, yeah. So I do intend to do the um, point just roughly around here, let me see. where the uh, point switch bit here is, so there's a bit of balance there, but I'll probably remove these little knob things, whatever they're called, from the uh, one side after the point motors are in reinstalled then ballast up so it looks a bit nicer but uh, yeah think that's about it really and uh, yeah I still need to do the turntable so oh well still need to keep it all a bit clean anyway this has been James from Gospel Alex and I hope you enjoyed the video so I'll see you again next time bye bye now